Hi YouTube, back to Basic Scale here again. Today I'd like to uh, give my little disclaimer uh, that I am not a medical professional or doctor, so before you decide to make this uh, recipe, please discuss it with your doctor first. Um, anyway, that being said, uh, electrolytes are a vital to one's health and survival, and this should be included in everyone's emergency preparedness supply bag uh, and included in our first aid kits. While under normal conditions, our diets usually supply adequate, amount, adequate amounts of electrolytes, but when our bodies are under stress or we sweat excessively, we vomit, have diarrhea, or have serious wounds or burns, water and electrolytes need to be replaced. Life itself can be threatened if electrolytes and water losses are severe enough. Anyway, um, I'm going to share with you this recipe to make a powder mix that you can easily include in your glove box, purse or wallet, your bug out bag, food storage, or your first aid kit. Um, you need to mix it with water. Um, it's, a, uh, it's a real important item to have in your supply kit, I believe. Um, anyway, with that being said, uh, I just want to um, make sure that uh, I get this information out there. I'm starting to... Uh, redo all my um, stuff for my car and thought, well, you know what, since I'm making this, I might as well get this information on YouTube so you two can, uh, can start um, making sure you have the information uh, available and keep into your kits. I use these little bags. I get them at Walmarts, and I, I attach the electrolyte mix to a bottle of 16-ounce water. Um, I keep them in those little bags underneath the car seat. Um, you know, they uh, they keep food frozen. Well, in the wintertime, uh, it keeps the, the uh, water from freezing in the car. So, God forbid, in case you need this, you at least have, uh, have it with you uh, if you get stranded or whatever. Uh, I always have water in the car in the summertime. I keep this in the glove box, too. I just uh, seal these with the uh, food saver or my other um, sealer. You know, and keep. Uh, I just put a label on them and throw them in the glove box. Uh, you can put them in your first aid kit. Uh, this recipe is enough for two quarts, so you should. Uh, you know, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna end up making uh, probably eight to ten bags of this today. Anyway, uh, what you need to do is pick up this no salt. Uh, do not buy anything but this. This is something you cannot. There is no alternative to buying this. Uh, this little container here I got at Walmart, it's like $5. Uh, and what it has in it is potassium chloride, potassium bicarbonate, adiptic acid, silicone dioxide, mineral oil, and fumaric acid. Um, this Smart Balance stuff, um, it's close, but it is not what you need. So don't, it, this is a lot cheaper, it's only a buck and a quarter. Um, don't, don't, um, you know, substitute this on this uh, original no salt sodium free salt alternative uh, make sure you do pick this up uh, it's kept over by the spices um, all your grocery stores should have it you don't need much half a teaspoon I'll put the recipe below uh, I use I don't know if you can see this um, I use real salt it's called real salt and it has the minerals I also use Himalayan salt but is my everyday salt. I use this real salt. Uh, you can pick it up at uh, health food stores. Uh, for this recipe, you can use sea salt. It doesn't have quite as many minerals in it or anything, but uh, you know it's, it's it'll do the job. Um, I just prefer the uh, mineral salt for mine. Uh, you need one tape, one teaspoon of that, and I like to use tang or I use that lemon iced tea mix to flavor mine. If you don't have a flavoring in this uh, mix, it kind of tastes nasty. Um, I'm going to use two tablespoons of this. It's just going to give a real light flavoring to it. And then uh, this is um, baking soda. You're going to need uh, one teaspoon of baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. Um, anyway, so it's real easy to do. You just uh, half teaspoon of the no salt, one teaspoon of your salt, two tablespoons of your tang or whatever, Oh, drats, this, uh, this, uh, this, the, uh, baking soda, um, my little thing here must have been a little bit damp, darn it. 
Anyway, um, there we go. I don't know why uh, why it's stuck in there a little bit, but anyway, you need uh, to dump all your ingredients in, and I just use this little whisk and you know mix it up really really well so you get it dispersed in the uh, and, you know dispersed all together, and then I just put on uh, you know put it in these little bags and I try to evenly sort it. This will give you two packages, so this will do you know two quarts on. Uh, you know, two quarts of the mix, uh, and that way you can keep one in your, you know, one in your purse, one in the car, uh, whatever. I make a lot more than uh, just this, but I thought for people who, um, you know, who didn't uh, and didn't drive or whatever, wouldn't need a huge recipe of this. Anyway, this is also a really good sports drink, you know, in place of Gatorade. Um, you can use the unflavored uh, Kool Aid. Then you have to use some kind of a um, sweetener with it because it's too bitter. Uh, this has dye in it. I, I don't like to use the un, unnatural dyes. Uh, you can use stevia in the raw. You can use raw sugar. You can use regular sugar, organic sugar, or you can buy the uh, pre-sweetened Kool-Aid and just use two scoops of that instead of the tang. Um, that's another alternative. Um, you know, this uh, and you can use this in place of Pedialyte too. Just make sure you get that no original no salt. It has the potassium in it, and that's um, that's probably one of the most important ingredients in this. Um, anyway, uh, just make sure you uh, mix this up really well. And I take these little bags, and I just put that it's the electrolyte, you know, mix. And they're the small bags. I get them in the candy department at Walmart. Um, and I just place, you know, the... Uh, the mix. I try to evenly disperse this between the two two bags because I know that this is, you know, um, for two uh, quarts. So I'm using 16 ounce bottles of water for this. So I need uh, to get two bags, and then I'll just tape this on the backs of the water. You know, and I also want uh, you know um, this stuff will keep as long as you're on. Uh, your flavoring because your salt isn't going to go bad, um, but it uh, it actually doesn't taste bad. Um, it's not an awful um, product at all by any stretch. Um, when we go out hiking, I'll take this and uh, dump it in my water bottle if I start getting tired um, or feeling a little bit exhausted from all the walking. It actually isn't bad. Um, your body definitely needs to uh, to keep the electrolytes uh, going. Anyway, this uh, it's a pretty simple, uh, simple thing. It's a life-saving thing, in my opinion, um, and I think everybody should uh, should include this item in your preparedness bag. Uh, and if you need it and you don't have it, you're going to be in trouble. It's a lot more pleasant to uh, drink this than it is to um, to have a salt lick, <laughs> so to speak. Anyway. Um, this, uh, I hope you enjoyed the information. Uh, this is Back to Basics, Gal. As always, thanks for stopping by.